Okay, here is your video review of the combined heat and power wood pellet rocket stove by Hasty Heat. This stove folds up, fits into a priority mail flat rate box, and can be shipped globally. Has a Nomex hopper that holds over one bag of pellets. There it is holding one 40 pound bag of pelletized biomass. Has a two inch feeder tube to a knife valve where you can let the pellets feed through. Uh, it has a air intake here. There you go, there's a good view of it. So you can open that to let the air in. See, and the air is inducted over the exhaust to preheat the combustion air. That chamber in there is a uh, Nice little vertical rocket combustor for the wood pellets, made out of stainless. Down here you have your uh, ash drop, and this holds one and a half, two bags worth of ash. Here you have your uh, release for the ash drop, and also access to the combustion pocket. For ignition. Takes a little pencil torch. About 30 seconds will get it started. You can actually uh, ignite it with a 30 second burn on each side for best result. Boom. And boom. All right, so the ash drop comes off simply like that and here you have access to your uh, combustor where the pellets feed in um, so basically every time you load a bag of pellets you dump your ash you brush your burner and you're good for another day to several days uh, you can constrict the airflow to reduce the combustion rate with the valve and with minimum air induction such as uh, can get up to probably a four day burn so the uh, exhaust side of it all has these removable clean outs for periodic inspection and cleaning. The uh, flow through this thing of course is the pellets come down, get burned, the exhaust goes up through the center tube superheating the induction air, uh, makes this turn gives you about six to seven hundred degree hot plate area here comes along makes this turn this turn this turn over and out to the chimney you provide now it just takes a standard three inch chimney we recommend a three to four inch chimney six foot above this plane to provide enough draft induction to actuate the system um, also those same removable caps for clean out here so the whole stove if mounted to the wall or whatever can be uh, serviced um, now the Nomex pellet hopper here is just what it includes it fits in the bag but actually most ideally for less than a uh, portable uh, uh, use this like you know if it was installed in a fairly permanent yurt or a sailboat or RV, tiny house, whatever, uh, you could build a cabinet that you could dump your pellets into and then just tie in the feeder tube as you provide. It, it should have a little bit more angle than that. 
we only have so much room here in the shop to display this. All right, now going on, that's the, the, the burner part of it. And right here you can get three gallon pot of water to a boil with a lid, no problem. There's room for three pots. You have this whole flat plate area you could put a griddle on. Um, that's all great. Um, oh yeah, and then we get to notice the design. Uh, not only does it fit in the prior, tuck into itself and fit into the priority mail flat rate box, but it has a lot of this flat plate surface area. And what this is allows for is magic like this. Uh, what we're developing here to go with this stove is a high density uh, thermocouple or Peltier Junction liquid cooled system that can snap to these sides, pulling off the uh, heat. In the process, it heats the water, circulates to your header tank, so you got hot showers and dishes and all that. And uh, the bigger the difference in temperature from the hot side, where this is touching here, to the cold side, where the water comes in there, uh, the more electricity these generate. So the more hot showers you take, the more electricity it generates. Uh, to go with that, uh, we have sourced these wonderful little DC brushless centrifugal circulator pumps. The nice thing about the brushless DC centrifugal is uh, there's very little but two little bearings or whatever in there. Liquid plain bearings. It rides on a cushion of water and nothing touches. There's no brushes. Uh, those have an extremely long lifespan. Um, what else can we say about it? Maybe I should fold it up and uh, let you guys see its parts pile. Get back far enough to uh, get you a good view. That is the Combined Heat and Power Wood Pellet Rocket Stove by Hasty Heat. Uh, it burns any tabletized biomass, uh, algae, uh, switchgrass, wood pulp, you know, you know, anything you can compress into this wonderful 21st century coal. Right there, that's fabulous stuff. You can turn your lawn into your winter heat supply, and now it can also generate power for your lights and communication, thanks to hastyheat.com. All right. Here we're going to go over what's in the box of the CHP Wood Pellet Rocket Stove by Hasty Heat. In this priority mailbox measuring, a foot by a foot by two foot by three inches we fit this rocket stove burns any biomass wood pellets tabulated algae corn stuff like that um, we can go over the parts here of course you got in the back here we got the legs then we have the ash drop, the cap for the bottom of the ash drop. The ash drop holds a bag and a half, two bags of ash. So basically every time you add a bag to the stove, you dump the ash and brush the combustor. These uh, lock the ash drop up into place through the holes on each side like this. One there and one down there. Those are also your ignition ports for a pencil torch to ignite the pellets and kick the system on. Alright, we have some 2 inch aluminum slinky. The uh, over one bag capacity Nomex uh, soft hopper. Uh, we have the tube feeder to the combustion pocket with its pellet knife valve for 
shutting off the fuel flow or letting the fuel flow through. Keys and mounts and fancy little cut area here nicely. Clink and attaches right there. Then we have the end caps. I uh, drilled a hole in that one to see the flame. Put it right here. You can see the flame come up around the corner. It's like an upside down wooden Roman candle. Um, here we have the heat exchanger that bolts to that. And so after we get our clean and complete combustion in this column, uh, 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 superheated induction uh, rocket stove. Uh, the hot gases at this point are about 600 degrees. Exit through here, pass through this heat exchanger on their way to exhausting out the chimney you provide. Heating up this heat exchanger, we can get exhaust temperatures on low uh, under 160 at this outlet, the rest of the heat is staying inside your cabin. Uh, on high, our exhaust temps here might get into the 250-60 range. Um, so we could talk about the combustor, because that's really the fun part. Pull it over here so we can get a better look at it. But uh, what we have is inside of here, it's much like the combustion can of a turbine engine. We have a, a stainless tube welded inside of this steel tube uh, with a stainless grill and grate. And we feed the wood pellets in there. They form a nice little pile. The air is induced over the heated exhaust. is pulled down around the combustion chamber where it makes a U-turn in your ash drop that mounts right there. Like so. Uh... So the air goes up, the ash comes down, you get superheated, super clean, efficient combustion. Uh, combustion temperatures uh, in the 13 to 1400 degree range in this area here, where your wall temperatures are, I think, at highest 750 degrees or so, because it's kind of a jacketed air cooled thing. I don't know how well we can see in there. Not too well at all. But, uh... There's a, uh, plate in here that keeps the air from going up that way. You might be able to see it this way. Anyway. Uh, and then that's, that, that exhaust tube jets out the top of it. It's kind of like a square washer. Uh, so that's basically it. You have your ash drop, your combustor, your uh, combustion rate regulation by induction. Uh, you've got your high temperature hot plate. You have your room heat exchanger and hot plate. You have your chimney exhaust. You have caps and cleanouts on all the ends. You have your Nomex soft hopper. Uh, it holds over a bag. You have your flexi tube, your legs, and your feeder with shutoff valve. Uh, now, in semi permanent installations where this is going to be used regularly, you know, the soft bag that we include is just something that uh, we can fit in the box so that it is operable upon our arrival. Um, but we've had customers that have simply just, uh, uh, in their RV, built a uh, cabinet above the stove that uh, has the feeder tube hooked to it. So they just dump their pellets into this wooden cabinet 
as their feeder for the wood pellets to their little stove unit, how they've done it in their school bus. Um, yeah, and I guess that's pretty much the skinny on the CHP Combined Heat and Power Wood Pellet Rocket Stove by Hasty Heat.